Hey uh, folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld. It is our Nexology run, and we got a couple of people who are slightly hurt here, but currently everything feels kind of okay. Dealt with some uh, little breacher raid over here, some mechanoids. We got a couple of holes in our walls that uh, we will hopefully fix. I've temporarily gone and uh, thrown Javier and Sophia on construction over here. They only have a skill of four and no passion, but I want to just quickly get these walls patched. Maddie is equipping a weapon. Why are you moving so slow, Madeline? Because you're missing a leg. Do we have a prosthetic ready to go? I guess not. Prosthetic leg. Let's do this. A little bulk good trader. Oh, trade ship. That's nice. Odette, would you mind having a chitty chat with them? Thank you. And I hope you're going for a rest. I actually might go and interrupt your, your rest here for a second. Let's see what we got. We could sell some dromedaries and alpacas. That's an option. We don't have any silver stored right now. We do, have, yeah, we do have a fair number of animals we could sell off a few. So that's a possibility. Package survival meals. Sure. Chem fuel. I could even sell off some of that. We do have maybe more neutromine than we want. I mean, ideally, I'd like to buy these components and even these advanced components. I'm not sure if that'll swing, but we'll see. Um, yeah, we've got tons of cloth. Let me sell this leather. I think I might sell like a thousand units of cloth. We're still banking tons. That's okay. No, no, no. Um, we'll sell off like some of our ambrosia. I think we've got someone addicted, so we don't want to get rid of all of it, but this is a huge number. No juice, steel. They have lots of money banked. Wait, we have a bionic leg. What? How come when I searched in health for leg, the bionic leg didn't come up? Okay, we'll check up on that again here. Um, I'll keep this helmet. Just that when we get a recruit, what I should probably do, I guess, for the helmets is maybe turn off the um, the automatic construction where we try to keep one around. Although it can be sold, but not for fantastic money. The clothing, though, there you go. Sell this corset off. These pants, we're going to keep the gold. Bed rests, I guess, or bed rolls we keep around. Got this legendary one. Unless I sell this one for cash and just make another one just to reduce our wealth here. It's not a terrible idea. Part of me was like, oh, I'll sell the good one and then we'll make some more excellent ones. I'm like, but you know what? I don't know if we need to do that. Let's sell this just to reduce some wealth. Hyperweave co cowboy hat sounds so cool. Should I get more gold? I mean, we're going to need more for things. But the first thing we needed for is the multi analyzer. We've already built that. I don't think we're looking to buy gold right now. I wonder if it's worth buying a bunch of steel just to accelerate things or even plasteel. We could keep the silver around for just miscellaneous whatever comes up, but I think I think I kind of like this idea. I want to buy all the plasteel. I don't think we could do that, huh? No. Um, well, we could buy like 50. There you go, 56. I think I'm pleased with this. Hopefully there wasn't anything else cool that I really want to pick up. Okay. Mad hold on, pause. Over here. Turn off the prosthetic leg. Bionic? What what's going on here? Is it not in storage? No, it's there. Hold on. No, that doesn't make any sense. I was going to say, do we need... Wait, there it is. Hang on a sec. Do I have to... Uh... Is this search box not work properly? What the heck? It's clearly there. Okay, right leg, install, right leg. Well, that's frustrating. 
I'm gonna have to be really careful when I go through this list next time. Like, I won't be able to use, trust the search. I mean, we can try it, and then if it works out, great, we'll do it. But otherwise, huh. All right, yeah, we'll try to get that installed. I guess, you know what? Don't worry about the heavy SMG, because I think you're gonna drop it. Well, maybe you don't drop it for surgery. But still, we'll, we'll equip it later. That's gonna be fine. Okay, hope. Oh, I was gonna interrupt the sleep maybe to do this. I don't know. Smogger, how are you doing? Yeah, you're okay. And you're gonna have a snooze too right now? Yeah, resting. It is that period of time. Hopefully we don't get attacked. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, geez. That, sorry, that cough came out of nowhere. Um, Okay, that's been sealed in, so that's fine. And yeah, I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and move my, my defenses over here again, but build some traps. Since we've got a longer trap corridor, I think we're gonna be better. We're gonna do this trick here to de-stack enemies. So when a group of enemies spawns on the map, they don't have collision with each other, they can stack up. Um, when they come within range of a hostile unit from their point of view, like one of our units, um, then all of a sudden the proper collision gets put in. They, they, they pull themselves apart. That hostile units includes turrets. What we can do is we can have a turret out here that's not powered um, and it will just cause them to unstack themselves. Actually, these were wooden doors, which I don't want because, <coughs> excuse me again, oh my gosh. Um, I want something fireproof here. So what we're actually gonna want is say granite doors over here. And just to increase the fireproofiness, we're gonna want the granite doors I don't think are flammable. The turret might be. I don't know if the fire can go diagonal. In any case, we'll do this to give it a bit of a buffer and make sure everything is A-OK. -okay. But yeah, construction-wise, there we go. I think, are you connected to the power grid now? You are. Good, because we're having some power shortages. We've got that. I do want to complete the second side now, but as long as we're connected in some way, we're good. That was the other thing I wanted to prioritize with the constructors, because now these things, we're going to power on. We should have enough to have them all working. Okay, Maddie's waiting for the operation. Let me go and turn off these extra constructors. I'll just keep it for the ones who are passionate. And then Dr. Wise, so Immolator is currently doing research. That's interesting. You must have started the research before Maddie was in bed. If I go and tell you, please do an operation. Your 11 medical skill. Honestly, rescue. Wait, why is Madeline on the round did you get stone and fall down oh my god emulator we're here and rescue and then yeah there we go surge rise at the same time all right thanks cool okay we still have some mechanoids to be shredded oh right we're still missing that part hope are you gonna go rescue come over here prioritize oh the constructor was working on it yeah that's okay We'll get, uh, we'll get Smogger to go over there. Just finish that and seal that in. I forgot about that. That's gonna be very important to do. Although I guess that's still wooden. I'll let you finish the wooden building. We'll build an outer layer that's stone and therefore fireproof. Structure, wall, granite, like that to start off with. Um, I wonder, I don't, can fire jump across diagonals? But if it does, even if it does and burn down these walls, that's okay because we'll still have an outer wall. So that seems all right. Let's just make sure to home zone those three tiles so they get repaired and rebuilt if something happens. But the important thing is it's sealed. If we get a raid right now, they'll come in through the kill zone. We don't have a lot of traps set up, but that's gonna have to be okay. All right, those are being built, which is fine. I don't think we have any steel stored right now. I was gonna say, we've got some available on the map. So we only have 109 steel, but we actually have more than that because none of this is counting because it's not part of a stockpile. All right, done, done, done. We still have our forced weather. I mean, I know it's grainy and maybe loud, but I think it's so good, the anti-fire effect. Oh, I forgot, I am running the replace stuff mod. Sorry, I've been playing on 1.5 without mods for like some practice stuff. So I'm now I'm used to thinking of not having the replace stuff mod. Do, 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 do. Okay, precision rifling is done. Yeah, I think I overbuilt my uh, heavy SMGs. I do want to get um, assault rifles for the people who have the best shooting skill. It'll give us the ability to maybe consider doing some some sort of kiting and stuff on the map or or whatever. I wouldn't mind having one person with like a sniper rifle. Um, the sniper rifle is like, like charge up time and cooldown time is very long. It takes a long time to shoot, but with its long range, we can use it to just poke it like sieges or mech clusters or something, then draw them in somewhere else. 
Um, so it would be a good option. If we had a careful shooter. Oh, we do have a careful shooter. Gomp. Gomp might be a good place for a sniper. So careful shooter, I don't actually love it because, yeah, the aiming time is increased. Um, but you get the shooting accuracy. And this could be something nice for, like, a sniper rifle where um, you don't need to shoot fast, but you do want every shot to land. I think the, um, what's the other one called? The, like, reckless shooter, the fast shooter, combat frenzy. Can't remember what it's called, but the, um, the other, the other shooter. Hello, visitors. Um, the one that's, like, less accurate but fires more bullets is actually very appealing. Especially with, like, an SMG-type defense like this. If we're doing longer range with the, um, the assault rifles, then they're not going to be very accurate at long range, but that's still going to be okay. So, yeah, generally more desirable. But not a big deal. Not a trade I look for. Want neural supercharger. So, yeah, these are on. These are charging. So, we've got 11 superchargers. We've got 14 people right now. So, not everyone can supercharger. Now, one of our people doesn't need it. Sophia. Ours is our cooldown up? It is. Okay, virtual is far away. So, let's find Sophia, who is currently sleeping. And we're playing on 1.4. So, you can't convert sleeping pawns. So I'm going to force you awake and then do that. There you go. Certainty is getting down. We're getting closer. We actually might be able to do it with just Hope's ability because we got two more before the ritual. Although the second one is going to be pretty close to the ritual cooldown time. But it's possible, depending on how quickly Sophia is reloading her certainty, that we might just be fine. Are we doing repair? Oh, it sent me we're out of wood. Well, we're not out, but we are darned low, and it doesn't look to me like I have any wood dedicated to be chopped down. I'm going to use this Harvest Fully Grown tool, which I do enjoy very much and do that. Oh, I didn't use the shift modifier, so it's also potentially doing plants, but mostly it's doing wood. That's ah, doing this heal root over here. That's fine. Get us a bunch of that. Again, I don't think the base game needs a harvest fully grown button, but I think I would like this chop wood to have an option where if you hold shift or control, then it'll only do fully mature trees. Masterwork Devil Strand Cape. OK. Oh, right. I was going to make a little ajustement over here. Smelter. A long sword suspended. Right, plasteel long swords. Do I want to enable that? Maybe. Again, I, a lot of times I make uranium maces. Uh, plasteel long swords are also really good, but I usually find plasteel to be, you know, more valuable. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna change this to do X times, but leave it at a zero. Uh, maybe I'll do the. Uh... Maybe the flak vest and flak pants I will leave on like this because I can't easily see if someone has a flak vest or flak pants. But the simple helmet, I'll be able to see if people have it or not and then maybe queue it up on demand. Okay. I mean, the other thing, is there's a mod called um, Everyone Gets One. The other thing we could do with our improved production mod, I suppose, is I can, for the do until X, I can count equipped. But then I keep having to set this number. Um, I have to make sure that this number is equal to the number of colonists that want it. So right now we have 12 adults, right? So, right, we have 14 people, 14 humans, yep. So 12 adults who want these. I could change this to say do until X, where this number is 12, count equipped. And then I can still put in like the hit points or whatever, although here, um, I don't think armor's hit points actually matters. We just want to make sure it's not tainted. I just have to make sure to keep up to date on this. So we set this to 12, like so. Copy, paste. And I'll do the same thing. I don't want to copy paste just because they have different material. Uh, count equipped. And yeah, we'll set it to here. Right, and that all already copied there. Actually, I'm going to keep a little bit of more of a buffer because this way, if someone's is starting to get worn out, we'll make sure to have something available for them ahead of time. And if we go up here, so there's someone who is at like 64%. If I set it to 65, it's going to start making some pants, but we'll leave it at 60. I think that's going to be okay. All right. So I have to make sure to change these numbers. What do you, what do you think the odds are that I forget? At least because the helmet is included in this, I might start to notice someone not wearing a helmet. That might be helpful. For the clothing, I think I'm going to keep doing the keep one around. 
because if nothing else, I'm happy to sell off the clothing. The flak vest and flak armor, because they use components, I probably don't want to use that as a money-making industry. I really should. Okay, next time we play, I'm going to focus on long-range weapons and try to learn to kite a little bit more. We're probably going to lose tons of colonists doing it along the way, but it's so much more powerful and would let us go and hunt these thrombos if I could get a little confidence in some kiting ability and stuff. Which would also be helped if I was also using psych psychic powers because people with like the burden ability uh, would be really good to make kiting easier. We're doing some repairs now, which is fine. Hope you're building granite walls out here. I should maybe have a door here. I'm not, I may not bother doing the, um, uh, the airlock, even though I do think it's kind of a nice move. Okay, Matt, Mathis is fully healed. Madeline, how'd your surgery go? There's your bionic leg. So now you're happy because you've got your transhumanist needs being met. Beautiful, wonderful, legendary work, legendary cloth pants. Ooh. Do we have Devil Strand? All right, we do. Okay. Now, I still might want to set up a Devil Strand greenhouse. Oh, there we go. This is the quest we want to pursue. So Lelium is hoping to expand their territory, interested in taking over Hope's Landing with its wealth and technology. If you can grease it to 350,000, they'll take the settlement. We also need the alliance with Lelium, which actually I should really be working on here because I want the ability to call in some, some help if we need it. Do we have transport pods? We do. Okay. We're going to get this started. First of all, we've got, um, we've got some waste packs and we're going to get some more. So we're going to want to be ready to fling these at people we don't like, but I can also use this as a quick way to gift some things to people without having to walk to an area. Although what we could do is walk there, see if they've got anything really important to trade, and then just gift the rest of our stuff. That's a possibility as well. But we're going to want the option of one of these bad boys, so we'll go ahead and do that. Worksite, no longer inspired with work frenzy. I'm going to go and unforbid these traps here so we can get them set up. Oh, this is also forbidden. We're going to unforbid it now. And yeah, it's not close to any power right now, so it shouldn't be powered, but I'm also going to just make sure to toggle it off. Because then no one will actually... I don't know if it needs to be toggled off, but I mean, obviously it can't can't shoot anyone there, so it would just be a waste of power. Bio sculpting is done, because people are going to want those pods. I don't think people have started asking for it yet, but it's going to be available. Uh, yeah, so with, with the turret, I don't think from a enemy is going to attack it. I don't know if it matters if the power... Oh! That's something I was doing! Hang on, is now the time? Well, Maddie, I'm going to force you awake. Grab this gun. Yeah, let's do this now. Bond's still injured. That's fine. Can everyone come down here? Spear. Well, just hang up back here for a second. Deconstruct. Now, okay, good. Our bots aren't going to come here to do work. That's fine. Um, it doesn't matter whether someone's got construction or not for the deconstruction. People with this deconstruct or with construction will do it faster, but otherwise it doesn't make a difference. Let's quickly figure out who's our best walker. Now again, we can check this individually. I can click on a pawn, go to info. Um. I don't know what it's called. Speed something. Move speed. There you go. We could compare them one by one. But the excellent numbers mod lets us see it very quickly. So Fawns is the fastest, but you're currently injured, so I'm not going to do it. So it's Maddie with her bionic leg, who's fairly speedy. So we'll do that because I'm going to want you to get out of here very quickly. Oh, that's interesting. You can't stand on the granite fence to do this? Okay, so you're going to have to go and... Oh, wait, hold on. Is it because you're recruited? That may be all it is. Okay. Schedule, no. Work. Maddie, let's just give you a priority for construct. Okay, so you can do it. Okay, everyone's showing up. I don't know, let me recruit you for a second. These two doors are gonna be said to hold open for a moment. Okay, that looks good. Now, come through here. Those doors will stay open for you. Now, come here, deconstruct. And now what I'm going to do is toggle these off. So Maddie can run out here. The doors will close behind her. Hopefully this is going to be fine. 
I mean, I'm sure it won't be a huge fracking disaster, right? Nah, we're okay. Now, it's possible that things won't be currently awake in there. And we'll still have to send someone in to... Well, I was going to say poke, but Maddie could also just stand in this doorway and just sh shoot at something. I don't want to fast forward here. It's risky. Okay. Area revealed. Oh, we got some bugs in there. Are they going to come after me? Hey, wait. Hey, did I... Oh, did I toggle those too quickly? Come back over here, Maddie. That shouldn't close now, right? There you go. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, are you coming? Oh, you're fleeing. Hey! I guess you are just really close to this door. Oh my god, this is... See, this is not what I want. Now Maddie's gonna get caught. No, okay, we're fine. Okay, hold open is not on, so that door... Okay, I was going to say, they might smash through here, but they're not. Okay. I'm still on a flea behavior? Actually, I meant to put spear over here to stop this. Okay, good. Just to keep you pinned. Actually, Fawns, if you're not feeling too bad, I'll see about getting you here, too. The idea is just to keep these guys pinned in, and we should be close enough to not friendly fire spear, hopefully. Good. Uh, oh, it's like, oh my god, why did they stop shooting? It's fine. Now, I think when we pop these, they could also be aggro. Let me go and give everyone a break for a moment here. Uh, oh, spear, you desperately need some food too. Okay, we'll give everyone a break. To finish off on there. We'll also, while we're at it, go ahead and allow all visible things. Okay, good. They're not reproducing right away. Smogger, you'll go and get yourself a little bit of medical treatment. All good and groovy. Oh, fawns. Sorry about that. Unrecruit recruit you as well. Excellent. Starvation. I know, I know, I know. It's okay. People are going to go grab some food. It's going to be fine. Chillax. No, from a fallen from 39% to 39%. My gosh. Such a radical change in her certainty. I think he went to get a snack first before going in and treated. You're butchering. Oh, Maddie's going to come do some work. Oh, yeah, because we only have one person with medical passion, but I do want a few extra people enabled, so that's fine. And this is a pretty basic injury. Although it'd be nice to get Immolator even more training so that more more or a reduced chance that she botches when we doing you know prosthetics work or something like that but no, this is okay these traps are set up is this all are those traps home zone they are not Actually, i guess yeah i can just do this may as well do the area in front why not and then i have to make sure they're all set to auto rearm if you build a trap in a home zone auto rearm is turned on by default but if you don't build it in a home zone then it won't be set on even if you set the home zone after because it's a trait of the, the trap itself. Okay, resistance broken. Good. Um, mood's okay. Recreation is kind of being called for. I might get let them go through another sleep cycle here. Near the... Oh, it's not that close to the end of the day. But people are a little on the miserable side. So. Metacrate, but yeah, these things are the things that people might pop out of. Someone can haul those blocks out of there, please. And you can put this back on a hold open. So I guess from here, you're close enough to close the door behind you. Okay. I guess I could just leave the hold open on until people are actually retreating next time. Oh, ooh, pretty worn out. Yeah, drop that off. Go have some fun. Oh, Odette. Let's go and give a call to the bulk goods trader, please. Again, we've got some animals we could sell if we need to. I mean, buy more components. I mean, ideally buy the advanced components too. Sell the bird skin. We could sell Psych IT. It's not really a moneymaker that way. You know, we'll sell the dyes because I'm really not using them. Um, hmm. 
me sell this alpaca. That one's not of age yet, but still, I guess I'm going to do that. So it keeps this female, this male alpaca, and we sell all the others. Okay. And then dromedaries. I got this female. I might keep, okay, sell this male. I might keep this one here. No, actually, sell that one. We're going to keep one of these young ones here and sell that. So we've got one male that I'm keeping. I'm keeping this one, and then I'm keeping the, uh, I'm keeping one of the young ones here at the same time. Yeah, one of these two dromedary casts would be kept. Okay, and that gets us a little silver on our side, which is fine. I could buy I could buy a little more neutromine, but we're okay there. I could buy more steel and things. Maybe I'll keep some silver, just to give us a bit more flexibility to the next trader, because there's nothing we desperately need. Oh, I can sell a bunch of clothing. Derp a derp. A burp burp. Derp derp. Is there one wearing Devil's Strand Dusters? They might be. You know what? We can make more. If no one's wearing it, that's fine. Now, that is quite a lot of silver. I could consider buying some more stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it for tech prints or something like this. We are buying the components and the advanced components. Let's call that good enough for now. Do I need to make more sterile floors? No, so I don't need the silver for that. Maybe I should have, I don't know. This thing, yeah, 75 fuel currently. I guess I could save some stuff to go and gift to our neighbors too. Heck, I could just send them silver. Power, power, we've got more geothermal over here if we need it, although right now we're okay. All right, yeah, so theoretically we're getting, all oh, we did our fun cycle, now we're doing our sleep cycle. Come morning, we might give people another chance to eat. I hope was too busy hauling things. She missed, missed the recreation period. She might go and do recreation when she gets up. I think our mood's probably going to be mostly okay, though. No artificial enhancement. Failed to convert. Oh. I didn't realize they'd be so upset about that. Having a chat with Tomboy, who has been converted, right? No. Resistance broken, so now we're doing convert actions. But, yeah. All right. I think we still have to focus on, um, we have to still focus on Sophia because Tomboy can get converted while in prison. So that's going to work out okay. Now, of course, we've got a nice prison here, which is not good for the conversion as opposed to the recruiting, but that's okay. Repairs here. You're about to go and get yourself re recharged. We just have the one charging station, but I think with the 10% recharge rate, it's actually going to increase the chance that we don't accidentally have too many things run out of power simultaneously because the constructoid is going to go now it's possible depending on charge time and things that the clean sweep will be below 10 percent while the constructoid is still charging but they're going to have a plenty of a window over there so it's going to be okay masterwork cloth pants groovy yeah i'm going to keep these rules the way they are we have this material here like cloth and even devil strand doesn't really compete with other things the same way Whereas with the armor, you know, consuming some extra steel and more importantly, components just to have the flak vest sitting around isn't ideal, I would say. All right, let's go. Hey, Smogger is even idle. Let's go grab everyone. Um, all the shooters get in the line. The two maliers, you're going to position yourself here and here. And our fastest person was Maddie with the leg. So you're going to come over here. Now, I don't remember. We just click open on this. I wonder if she'll be able to get out of there in time. Maybe I can just shoot them too. I could actually have Maddie sit here, attempt to shoot these hives, which you want to. Oh, she's auto I was going to say, and if a stray bullet hits one of these, then they'll act. Okay, that might have worked out perfectly. Come here. Move, 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 move. There you go. Turn off the hold open. They close behind you. Perfect. Well, they're attacking the bugs. All right, that's fine. Um, ancient, enemy ancient soldier of ancients. Ancient soldier of ancients. Huh. Why are you two fighting each other? 
slightly different faction, even though it looks the same. All right, fine. I mean, we might prefer taking a bunch of prisoners, but whatever. And yeah, I guess blow up the hives. See if I care. Um, yeah, I think we're going to deconstruct. Oh, these barrels, I think, can explode. So we just got happy thoughts for defeating a hive, right? Defeated insect hive. That's amazing. Oh, Maddie, you are not in the ideal position. Let's move you over here. These guys, yeah. We could have set up some traps in here, but this is fine. Oh, you're going back here for cover. But that's not working out. Okay, you're downed, bleeding in 10 hours. You have a tough skin gland. Chemical fascination, kind gay. Passion for shooting, melee. Animals, intellectual. I mean, so we have a uh, tough because of your tough skin gland. We have a tough person who's good at fighting. And in their off time can just research. Yeah, fine. Good. I wonder if we should take out this timber wolf before it has a random, I must go and uh, craft hunt and eat a colonist. All right. We're going to go ahead and undraft everyone. We are going to allow everything, which I'm realizing I've got, I've got this button here, but I'm like used to playing the vanilla version. These have all been presumably opened. Now we can open that for loot. Spear, could you do this? I don't think, I don't think it's bad. I'm a little worried. Like, maybe I should wait until... Um, sorry. Let's capture this person, please. Right, this is safe to do. What do we get? Psychic animal pulser. Oh, okay. And you're going to start hauling this stuff. And I can probably put a big deconstruct and everything over here. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll do the remove roof first, just to limit the chance of collapses on us. Although, a bunch of this is what? Overhead mountain? Oh, no. It's all constructor roof. Okay. Oh, you're eating the insect jelly. All right. Fine, fine, fine. Have the SMG. No really fancy weapons? No. Advanced components. Oh, someone was holding those. Okay. Could put a big high priority haul on everything there. Or what I might do is just set everyone's hauling temporarily high. Oh, your cooldown's not up? No. Because I'd like this stuff probably brought in. I think this is the way to do it. We're going to go work schedule. I'm going to set everyone's hauling to a one for a little bit. Bonds, did you get a fresh injury? Uh, just a crack from machine pistol. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, good. So yeah, people should come and just haul various things, bury people. Well, not bury, I guess. Um, Is cremating a hauling job? It might be. It might be. I suppose this is a good place to put in a cut. That was very successful. We've gotten some decent stuff out of here, and yeah, we'll deconstruct it for some extra material. Um, I can't remember. We can, can we still can we stuff more people into these caskets if they had something? I don't think we will, but I think it might be possible to put our own people in there. But it's far away. Yeah, we'll just deconstruct everything from the materials, and I think that's going to be happy. I won't assign the deconstruction yet. We're going to collect everything, and yeah, we'll remove the roof because if I start removing things over here. I mean, I could explicitly leave like this pillar and then everything else is near stuff. But yeah, I'll, I'll assign the deconstruct roof thing first just to make sure people don't have things fall in their heads. All right. Good episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.